Right guys, this morning I'm going to go through uh, the quadrilateral assignment that I put up yesterday. Uh, it's, I usually just uh, rule a line between all the points as well, just to get an idea of what's happening. And it just means I can now uh, put a little bit of uh, working on the lines themselves. Uh, I could just list all the working and, and have all my results recorded. But I just find it a little easier just to kind of keep track of of what I've been doing on the actual shape. So I'm gonna roll a line between each of them. It's not immediately obvious what the shape's gonna be, but it's looking kind of like it might be a square or a parallelogram. You know, there might be uh, really small differences in lengths and, and gradients uh, in an assessment. So we have to be very careful. So first step was gonna calculate the length of each side. Okay, so length. Uh, and we're going to go AB first. Uh, well, that's going to be uh, the difference in X squared. So 0 take away negative 6 squared plus the difference in the Y's squared, 10 minus 8 squared. And that's all going to be square rooted. Then we'll calculate BC, which is the difference in the X squareds. Uh, sorry, the difference in x squared, so 2 minus 0 squared, plus the difference in the y squared, 4 take away 10 squared, and it's all square rooted. So notice that my rightmost point is my is the one that I'm subtracting the leftmost point from. So now we'll go uh, CD, <clears throat> difference in the x squared is 2 take away negative 4. So difference is always subtraction, isn't it? Plus the difference in the y squareds, so 4 minus 2. And that is all square rooted because it is just Pythagoras. And AD. So we're going to go negative 4 take away negative 6 square it, plus 2 take away 8 and square it. And now I can put all of these on just straight into my calculator. Uh, so I've got the square root of, that's gonna be 36 plus four, so square root of 40, 6.3. And that's gonna be four and six as well, so that's gonna be 6.3. That's gonna be six and, that's gonna be 36 and four as well, so that's 6.3. And this one's a little tricky, so negative four plus six. That's going to be 2, so that's going to be 4 plus, and then that's going to be 36, because that's going to be negative 6 squared is 36, so 6.3. So I didn't actually need a calculator really, apart from doing the first one, because then the whole, the inside always became 40, didn't it? So, AB equals BC equals CD equals AD. Nice. Now we just need a gradient, so uh, gradients uh, AB. Well, it's going to be rise over run, so it's going to be 10 minus 8 over 0 take away negative 6. So it's going to be 2 over 6, 1 third. Notice how I'm simplifying my fractions right down. 1 third BC rise over run, so that's going to be 4 minus 10 over 2 minus 0. Showing my working all the way through. So that's going to be negative 6 over 2, negative 3. So immediately I can see that's a negative reciprocal. Those are going to multiply to negative 1, so they must be perpendicular. So that's a right angle. Uh, and now we're doing CD. Well, that's going to be uh, rise is 4 minus 2 over run, uh, 2 take away negative 4. So that's going to be 2 over 6, which is 1 third. So that's also perpendicular, and that makes these also parallel. Now I can still, well, it's going to be a square now, isn't it? But up until then, it could have been a, it could, if we had this thing, if this thing was long and so was this one, we could have actually had a trapezium, right, and had a couple of parallel lines. But because all the sides are the same length, 
as soon as we have um, any perpendicularity, I guess that's a word now, uh, then it's all going to be perpendicular, I believe. So, uh, so we've got one more gradient to do, AD, and so that's going to be the rise, so 2 minus 8. No, so that's going to be negative, and that makes sense, we've got a negative gradient, it's going down 2 minus 8 over negative 4, take away negative 6. Well, that's going to be uh, 2, take away 8. Yep, negative 6. I, and over 2, so negative 3. So that's perpendicular, which means that's also going to be perpendicular. These are, the, are also parallel, and they are all the same length. So the symbolism for this is, a, B, and C, D, uh, is it, you can just say uh, parallel with uh, this symbol here, and B, C is parallel with A, D, and A, B is perpendicular. So at right angles to BC and AD, I guess, because they're parallel, and then the other one. So uh, all four lengths are the same. Uh, we have two pairs of parallel sides that create right angles. So the shape is a square. All the best on today's exercise.